Well, good morning, Mr. President. I rise today in uh, support of uh, Christopher T. Hansen's nomination to serve an additional five-year term as member, a member of the Nuclear Regulatory Commission, which he's chaired for several years. I want to uh, begin uh, by saying a few words about uh, this pivotal moment for uh, clean nuclear energy in the United States of, uh, of America. Carbon-free nuclear power plays a critical and growing role in our electricity grid and is indispensable, indispensable in our ongoing efforts to address the climate crisis and to strengthen our nation's energy security. As uh, many of our colleagues know, including the presiding officer who is a member of the Environment and Public Works Committee, nuclear energy has become the largest source of reliable clean energy in the United States of America, the largest, providing about 20 percent of our nation's electricity, but listen to this, nearly half of our clean power. And the Biden administration is taking strong steps to ensure that nuclear energy can continue to be deployed both safely and efficiently. For example, uh, just last week, the White House announced a new administration-wide effort to bolster the domestic nuclear energy industry by further harnessing American ingenuity and cutting-edge technologies. The Nuclear Regulatory Commission also plays a vital role in facilitating the deployment of clean nuclear energy by protecting the safety of our existing nuclear facilities while also ensuring that new sources of clean nuclear power meet the same rigorous standards for safety. It's up to us, and it's up to us in Congress, the House, and the Senate to ensure that the Commission has both the strong leadership and the resources necessary for the 21st century. That's why I'm working closely with our ranking member, Shelley Capita of West Virginia, and other members of our Environment and Public Works Committee to enact legislation known as the ADVANCE Act if signed into law, this legislation will provide the Commission the tools, the resources, and the workforce that it needs to safely usher in the future of nuclear energy in our country. At this crucial moment for new nuclear technologies in our climate, the Nuclear Regulatory Commission also needs a full slate of commissioners in order for this plan to succeed. President Biden has nominated our chair, its current chair, uh, Hansen, to serve another five-year term on the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. He has skillfully led the Nuclear Regulatory Commission during his tenure uh, as chair for the last four years. Under his leadership, the commission has undertaken uh, significant efforts to modernize the agency while dealing with uh, constrained resources. He's gone above and beyond to engage both the industry and our public and he has advanced our efforts to slow climate change by leading the Commission to establish a regulatory framework for the safe licensing and operation of new carbon-free technologies. I have no doubt that if he's reconfirmed, Chair Hansen will extend his track record well into a second term and beyond. Last month, the Environment Public Works Committee advanced his nomination out of committee with broad bipartisan support. And I hope to see Chair Hansen reconfirm with broad bipartisan support again today. Senator Capito and I urge our colleagues to join us in supporting Chair Hansen's nomination so that he can continue serving our nation with skill and dedication. And uh, with that, Mr. President, I yield the floor. If you want to